For my 112 project, I created a program that optimizes a route to all of your classes. You can start out by selecting a map, and these are just images that you've uploaded. With these maps, you can edit them, and you can add new nodes. These nodes will just tell the program where it's able to go. And with these nodes, you can connect them to create a viable path. And you can also break these connections, and you can remove nodes. At nodes, you can also add a building, and these will serve as destinations. And you can remove those buildings. You can also add a start node, and this will tell the program where to start all of the paths whenever it's going through your schedule. In order for the program to be able to calculate time data, you have to set a scale. And the way you do this is you select two nodes that you know a distance for, and you'll enter that distance in feet. And you can save that. And using this tool, you're able to create um, entire maps just using a picture file. Uh, each map will also have associated schedules that you've created. So you can either create new ones or edit existing ones. So if we look at this schedule, it has all of the classes as well as the associated information. And you can look at uh, a building map as well. Uh, you can add classes. So if we add this class, it'll populate the schedule. And you can also remove that class if you don't want it. Um, so using this existing schedule, we can see what a optimal path will be. And it'll give you this for each day of the week. And within the path, you're able to look at uh, the class, the start times, and the time it took to get there from the previous class or previous node. Within a, uh, within a map, you can also look at all of the existing nodes, as well as the buildings on this optimized path page. Um, for maps, you can also add preferences. So if I know that I want to die in at a particular location, I can provide a time, as well as a tolerance. So this will be how many minutes uh, the program can deviate from the uh, provided time, and you'll be okay. And you can also provide studying locations and the minimum amount of time you'd want to study. And if we add these, we can see um, that the program has now uh, generated a yellow node, and this is a studying um, time in the schedule. Here we see a green node and this would indicate dining. And you'll do that once again for all of the days of the week. Uh, there's also a manual mode where you're, where you're able to select nodes to visit and I'll find the fastest path. So this was my 112 turn project. Thank you.